Many cities have been designed around their transportation systems to the detriment of their own people. More roads for cars meant more parking spaces. New interstate highways cut through downtowns, severing communities. Many communities are working with landscape architects to transform infrastructure like parking spaces, highway underpasses, industrial riverfronts, and old unused rail lines into people-friendly spaces and amenities. San Francisco, New York, and other cities have pioneered programs to transform underused streets, sidewalks, and parking spaces into many parks called parklets. Parklets are people-friendly environments that offer inviting cafe-style chairs and tables, vegetation, and bike racks. Only requiring a small amount of space, parklets are clearly marked to ensure people are safe from traffic. In some cities, these amenities are made up entirely of recycled or reused materials and could be temporary or permanent. Some temporary parklets are modular and can be easily configured and moved around to different locations. Communities that fell on the path of a new highway were confronted with huge physical barriers that severed neighborhood connections. Directly below these highways were isolated underpasses that remain undeveloped and often unsafe. Many communities are now exploring how to turn these spaces into green corridors, parks, and playgrounds. Given highways often cut through neighborhoods, these parks help bring people back while revitalizing their surroundings. Communities separated by highways can now be reconnected, allowing pedestrians to comfortably travel between neighborhoods. And these parks combine several uses to attract people and businesses. In the evening, the parks are well lit to ensure a safe environment for all visitors. In the summer, underpass parks provide excellent shade and become valuable green spaces. With the growth of highways, miles of rail lines have fallen out of use and become abandoned. Groups like the Rails to Trails Conservancy help transform former rail lines into community trails spanning miles. Old rail infrastructure is first removed and then bike and pedestrian trails are laid down. Sometimes existing infrastructure is kept and reused. For example, old train depots can be converted into restaurants, stores, restrooms, or information kiosks. Historic bridges and rail trestles are preserved and renovated to accommodate pedestrian and bike traffic. The result? New trails that connect communities, promote active living, and provide access to beautiful natural landscapes. In the past, older cities relied heavily on their waterways to move goods for trade. Today, many of these waterways with their vacant industrial sites and polluted water are drains on the local community. However, old water infrastructure provides an opportunity for creating outdoor public spaces and restoring the local ecosystems. Landscape architects leverage the existing hard surfaces and natural systems to create outdoor walking environments and meeting spots. The waterway banks can be developed using native plants that regenerate wildlife habitat, creating an inviting natural landscape that also helps remove toxins from runoff water entering the river. These new developments connect communities, become destinations, and promote economic growth in the heart of many towns and cities. Investing in old transportation infrastructure can help rebuild communities. Redesigning old infrastructure also makes good economic sense. In most cases, it's far more cost effective than starting from scratch. Think about how you can transform your community's infrastructure.